This is our 2020 Yamaha MT-03. I'm going to be doing a slow video pan through the entire bike here uh, to take a look at it from its parked perspective. You could consider this a type of deep dive or inspection video. The goal here is to very carefully look at everything and notice if anything looks off and I did wipe down the bike earlier with some wet wipes it was pretty dirty from riding in the rain so not a perfect job but what we're looking for here is just to see if there's anything out of place if there's any cracks or breakage this is known as a hyper-naked bike. It's a style of sport bike. This one has really nice um, seating geometry. We're looking from the underside of the front there. Just make sure everything looks good. This is the kickstand. We can see there's a lot going on down here. That aluminum piece in the middle of the, the oil pan, bottom of the engine block. There's a sensor on the kickstand, with wire coming out of it. You can see the oil filter just under the exhaust pipe right there. There's the front fairing. There's where the exhaust pipe splits into two Ys where I insulated it. This is the um, headlight projector lens and the horn that black thing there. And as we zoom out, you see the front fairing and the radiator and the front suspension tubes. And we're just looking for anything that looks off. We're just looking for anything that looks awry. That's the information display. There's an aftermarket windscreen I added. See the handlebars, the front brake hydraulic reservoir, the switches, the hand grips. There's the fuel tank filler on the top, the mirrors. I know the left mirror is tilted in, that's on purpose. You can see the top. Looking into the engine, we're Looking at the electric starter motor there, and these are hoses and cables. There's the shifter linkage on the top of the transmission there. A lot going on in this image. There's the right foot peg. That is the rear brake. You see the hydraulic cylinder, so when you press down on the front lever, it pushes up on that hydraulic cylinder. There's the rear shock absorber. See that it's adjustable. There's the rear hydraulic fluid reservoir for the rear brake. There's the passenger foot peg. And the exhaust pipe is right there. So the exhaust pipe's a little scratched on the side there. That's the front cowl fairing that goes over the oil filter and there's the uh, ceramic wrapped exhaust header there. It's a little closer, a little closer shot of the radiator here and the front suspension. Obviously, I missed some spots while I was cleaning. That's part of the reason I was doing a detailed inspection here, just to see what I might have missed. Go real slow here. We're just looking for anything zip tie or otherwise, anything that might be off. So far, everything looks okay.
it's the front wheel, it's the axle nut there, and the the wheel with all the little cutouts in it, that's for the anti-lock brake sensor, and the brake caliper, front tire and wheel. Looking in at the different tubes and wires, there's the cooling system, coolant system, there's uh, gasoline cables, there's hydraulic fluid for the front brake there, wire harnesses, clutch cable, another angle we can see the gas tank, there's a little bulb down there from the air, that orange thing is from the air intake, there's connections to the gas tank in there, there's the linkage for the transmission up close, move up the engine block to the head here, see the two spark plug inputs there, it's like the magneto is mounted in here. A lot of this hardware is actually related to the gas tank, you can see in there. There's a water output from the head, goes to the radiator, the coolant system, a lot of hoses. There's more hoses on the bottom of the air box. This is an emissions controlled operation. There's the bottom of the gas tank where that orange thing is. So there's a lot going on with uh, air injection, um, EGR, uh, the anti-lock braking system distribution block back here. Uh, this is ABS front and rear. That red and black cable is a battery connector, so I can charge it without without taking the battery out. Um, but we're, we're just checking to make sure everything looks okay. Everything looks pretty good. That's the O2 sensor. So the ECU on the bike actually uh, takes the voltage from this sensor here in the exhaust tube right before the catalytic converter and it uses it to calibrate the pulse width of the fuel injection to lean out or rich in the fuel air mixture by controlling how much gasoline is injected lean meaning less or shorter pulses are rich there we see this is 1800 c, c um, cubic centimeters and the Yamaha is the manufacturer there's the oil input that little uh, twist type cap there and there's the water pump output from the engine on the front that pumps water up to the radiator. Uh, looking in here, we see the hydraulic brake line and the ABS sensor wire uh, going down to the front brake caliper, like that. We see everything there. And then looking at the, the front um, triple clamp mount there, we're looking at the back of the front assembly. There, we're looking up behind the dashboard. Here, here's the top of the triple clamp. There. This is the uh, front brake and um, ABS sensor, and we're taking a very close look here to see does anything look off. And I thought I noticed something. Oh, that's the rear, excuse me, that's the rear brake. That's the rear brake caliper. And you can see the chain and the sprocket back there and the rear wheel. Looking forward, we can see the path for the rear brake hydraulic cable and ABS sensor wire. There's the exhaust header in the front. We see the cooling fan. This is kind of cool. You can see the cooling fan shroud. There's a fuel evaporation canister down there. So it's a filled with activated carbon. The vape crankcase vents into there, or the gas tank vapor vents into there. If we look up here, we actually see the 
the drive motor and the fan assembly in its shroud so that can turn on and actively suck air through the radiator to cool the bike if it's overheating at idle, for example, in very hot weather. That's mounted right up against the radiator. And that's the input hose port for the radiator. So the hot water from the engine enters on this side. You see there's an overflow cap there. That's the radiator cap and the overflow hose out of it. It's so part of the uh, fuel system or crank crankcase vent ventilation system. I don't know. It's got a lot going on. Maybe it's a return line. Comment if you know. There's there's a lot going on in there. There's the, there's the fuel canister, the exhaust header in front of the front cowling, or behind the front cowling rather. Just take a another pan up here. Look at the front radiator from this angle. A close look, make sure everything looks good. It's actually the front fairing there and the tire will move forward. Take a look. Take a look directly up there. Did anything look off? There's some dirt. Bottom of that fan cowling front of the engine there, that's the engine block, the front of the engine block. So the front tire, only about a thousand miles on these tires, so a little whole bike actually. See the wear pattern. And I noticed from this angle that there's actually a small crack in the front brake pad on the inner edge. You can see it right there. It's actually cracked. I'll double check with Yamaha, make sure that's safe. 